I mean, anything's a toilet if you try hard enough. We have to find that cabin first. What? Up that hill and get some sleep. If we're lucky, we can charge our walkie-talkies. Well, Tomorrow, hello, we'll everybody. Get some recording of the area before Cleta anything C. else. C. Dickerson here Joel, again. look at this fog. Uh, it looks amazing, and isn't it? The network would love this footage. First of all, let me explain a few things. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me check I am Cleta C. Dickerson. I work for a, uh, a station, the local 33, uh, and they have a, a TV show called Scary Shit Finders. And uh, what we do is we go out on uh, little, I guess you call them missions, to find scary places that are supposed to be hainted with apparitions, uh, ghosts, if you will. Think of us kind of like Ghostbusters, only we don't bust them. We just kind of um, go film them, right? What the? Was that a goat? Huh. Okay. So anyway, uh, this is my new girlfriend, Pammy. And apparently I have a flashlight of nuclear power. What? Good lord. Also, uh, she does not blink. It is a condition medically. Please do not make fun of her. She is very sensitive about the situation. Also, uh, light emits from her nostrils. Also part of the condition. What the? Jesus. Oh, go, go, Jesus. Okay, listen, everybody. Pammy may be possessed by Satan at this point. And we just now started the mission. What in the... Okay. Anyway. So here we are. Outside of some place called like... I don't know, Possum City or something? Some kind of marsupial or... Giant rodent town? I'm not sure. Anyway. Uh, we're supposed to be... Uh, investigating some activity. Not, not the pudding that you get at the store. Um... That's that stuff for your stomach. It's got living bacteria in it, which sounds very scary to me if you ask me. Apparently, somebody uh, at FedEx does not know how to do their job. There's nobody here, man. Alright, anyway. So, Pammy just kind of follows me around like a puppy. Huh. Okay. But Pammy, you know what? Seriously, I'm beginning to think you're possessed by the devil. And we just started, man. Not a good way to begin a mission. Uh. HTG oil. Oh, hey, that's that stuff that you get off the weed. Yeah, 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 man. It's like become a big deal. HTG oil. Jesus, that is a lot of it, man. Even got a plaque of certificates in the certification. Authenticity. It tells you that it's the good stuff, man. Of course, you can't see it because my flashlight literally is the sun. It's not even... A, it's a sunlight. Jesus! Of course, it don't do me no good out here. Look at this. Look, two feet away, it's garbage. Or, I mean, I guess like... Man, maybe like ten feet away, it's garbage. Two feet away, it... Well, look at that. Now it's like nothing. What is that? How does... This flashlight needs to make up his mind, don't it, Pam? Jesus! Alright, anyway. See, look, she's turning into Iron Man or whatever, man. Wow. Alright, what am I doing? I supposed to be finding something. Oh, here's a house. Let's go look at this house, man. Oh, there's a little house. Let's go look at the little house, man. They're like a chicken coop. I ain't got no chickens in it. I guess it ain't. It's nothing, Coop. But Jesus, Pammy. Well, I gotta be right there behind me, man. Just don't move, okay? Let me look at that butt. Alright. You know, the view from behind ain't so bad. Looking, looking alright there, Pammy. What happens if I walk backwards, man? Can you walk backwards? Oh, Jesus! Okay, never mind. You just do a creepy thing. Like I expected anything different from somebody possessed by the devil named Pammy. 
You know, she used to work down at the local Waffle House. And uh, that's where we met. What? Surprise, surprise, it's locked. Can we look in the window? Good, no, Jesus! Apparently a nuclear bomb's going off inside there with my flashlight setting it off. With all the powers of the sun. Kaboom, man! Good little panty. Oh. There she is, of course, just staring off into the, the darkness. I expected anything less. Again. No, no, I'm... Pammy, I'm not... No, Pammy. Jesus, man. What about... Oh, hey, look at that. All right, let's go this way, then. We're supposed to be going to our cabin up there. Okay. You keep on running, man. Follow the... The shitty dirt road. Oh, hey, here's a campfire. Somebody peed and put out. No, wait, is it put out? Is that blood in there? Man, whoever peed on that thing needs to go to the doctor, man. That is uh, definitely going to be a problem. Okay. Where am I going? Oh, what the hell? Wait a minute. Town's mayor's house. What the mayor... One of the Adams family? Look at this thing, man. Gomez. Mayor Gomez at your service. This must be this old town mayor's house. This must be the old town. How would you know that, Pammy? Unless you're part of it. You're part of this whole thing, aren't you? You led me here. You know what, Teresa? She said. Teresa said. Go out there with your new girlfriend, Pammy. It'll be fine. Take her along. She can help hold the camera. And I said, you know what, Trace? That's a good idea. You know, Pammy and I just met last night on that new app. Like, I don't know, whatever it is. It's like gentle or whatever. Or one of them weird ones where it's like talking about how you like are sensitive or something. Anyway, it's a dating app. I don't know the technology, man. I'm getting used to it, okay? Don't judge me. Anyway, point being is, she's like, hey, take out your new girlfriend, Pammy. It'll be a good experience. You guys go, like, on a nice romantic getaway out in the wilderness. She don't blink, man. She said it was a condition. A condition of Satan. That's what I'm starting to think about. Now she's like, hey, it's the mayor's house. How would you know that? We've never been here before, Pammy. Why'd you jump at me like that? What are you doing, Pammy? You, you just stay right there, man. While I look at the sun. What do you mean? Locked from the outside? Is that one of them? How's that lock work? Okay, whatever. Who puts their breakers on the outside of the house, man? That is not how electricity... Whoa, skulls, man. Pammy, you got some explain... What the... Okay. Anyway... Pog King. Pog King. Hey, remember them games? Pogs, man. The, the round little cardboard. Whoa. Remember they're, they're like round, man. And like little round cardboards. And you like smacked them with something else. And they bounced over. It was weird. Okay. So I'm supposed to go to our cabin. You know, I'm just going to go straight to our cabin. Our cabin. Not like R. Kelly. I would not go there. Uh, I mean, he would pee on me. Well, I'm a little old for him, I guess, so I guess he would not pee on me. He'd probably just ask me to leave. He might pee on you, Pammy. Jesus! Maybe then you close them eyes. It is not a condition. I've never heard of no medical condition called I can't close my eyes and I just... I think you made that up. I am positive you made that. I can't close my eyes and itis up. I'm going to have to look that up in the medical journals when I get back home. Wait, where am I going? Okay, cabin's right up here, it said. Now, when I looked into this cabin at the Airbnb, they said it was a spacious five-bedroom, two-bath. This is our cabin, dear. Oh, my God. What, what the hell? You've I got magic you in your hands. Exercise more often. Pammy, listen. I know. I know that this is... This is some kind of trap for me. Um, it was Satan! 
Pammy, listen. Uh, say, oh God, Pammy, listen. Your magic's showing. And I'm not entirely upset about it, but I need you to promise me you're not going to sacrifice me to the devil. Pammy, listen. I have seen things beyond the stars of this universe. No, Pammy, it's true. I've been to Mars uh, through the gates of literal hell where I, I literally went to the other side and came back. It's true. Okay? I don't need to go back. Been there, done that. Fought giant devil robots themselves and came back. Okay, okay, Pammy. Blink, man! Okay, Jesus, never mind. Alright, Pammy. So, this is our cabin. Spacious five bedroom, three bath, jacuzzi. Pammy, can I ask you a question? I mean, you, you don't blink, so you obviously can see the dilemma here. Where? Where's the jacuzzi? Linda lied to me. You know what? I paid $73.62 a night for this place. And she said five bedroom, three bath, jacuzzi tub. Like all kinds of... Okay, this is this place... Don't even have a toilet, man. Well, I mean, I guess maybe that corner back there's a toilet, but... I mean, anything's a toilet if you try hard enough. Pammy. Oh, finally, we can get some rest. Well, can we? Can we get some rest? Is that what we can do? I'm it does not look very cozy. I'm curious house as well. Indeed, I am too. That's a whole different layer of mystery within this story. We'll investigate all about it. Man, you know what? Did you... Did you hear that? Did I hear what, what Pammy? Ah! Ah! No, I'm hearing ah! that? Jesus! No! Nora! Ah! Ah! Uh, man, you know, either we just had the best, um... Intimate time we've... That I've ever had in my life. Or somebody came in and beat the crap out of us. But either way, I believe that I have climaxed in my underwear, and I think I need a new pair. Joe, do you hear me? Joe, Joe. What uh, talkies? Nora, where are you? Uh, what? What happened? My head, uh, my head hurts so bad. I'm still in the cabin. I just I'm still trying to head. catch a nap, man. It's spinning. Where are like, you? I don't need. I, I can't even move, man. I hear nothing. This place is like a cellar, I guess. Okay. I don't know why All right. I live walkie -talkie. I don't understand. This place is so dark. Okay, you don't understand why you still have your walkie talkie. No. Look, man. Get, would you stop I'm with the. Scared. Listen, Pam. Pammy, Pam, Pam. Wham, bam, thank you, Pam. Listen to I'll, me! I'll find you. Pammy, this is very important. I should start uh, by checking the mansion first. And then maybe the train station. I feel... Okay, it's a magnifying glass. Who gives a crap? Light sources. Good rule of paranormal investigation. Evil spirits can't hurt you if you're around fire and lights. I hope. Okay, it's a... It's a walkie-talkie big deal, man. Uh, it's a... I should check my put journal. put your wiener in? What is this? I mean, I really don't give a shit about none of this. No, I don't want that, man. What, what is that? A pair of pliers? Okay. Okay, I mean, it's locked, so what... How does any of this work, man? There's my toilet. Okay, got that. Let me see here. Can I come over here and pick up a candle? No, of course not. Whatever, man. Let's get out of here. First of all, I'm kind of amazed if at all because uh, Pammy said she couldn't um, see nothing. And 
And with the fact that her eyeballs uh, never close. And uh, I guess I go down to the woodcutter's cottage, man. It's right there. Why'd it get so much darker? Run down the hill, because that's safe. I mean, you know. Ain't nobody ever tripped over nothing. Oh, look at that. So, uh, that is not ominously satanic or nothing at all. Look at that. First of all, them candles are nuclear-driven candles. Look, what are we doing here, people? How much nuclear power do we have out here? Between my flashlight and these candles, we could power Chicago for a month. What the hell? What is it? This is not the woodcutter's cottage. This is some random building lit by the powers of the nuclear bomb. Splitting atoms over here at a tree stump for no reason. Huh. Okay. Oh, there's the cottage right there. I see it. Run over there, man. Oh, what? Oh, it's a plant. Pammy! What the? Random fire. And more candles. I think I need a bolt cutter to enter this cabin. Well, you know, I'm pretty sure I had a bolt cutter back at my place, but I did just left it there like an idiot. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? I, I don't I need, need this. Bolt cutter to enter this cabin. Didn't we just say that? Look, what the hell's even in there, man? Look. There ain't nothing even in there. Look, man. It's the candles. What's that fire? Wait, what is over there? What is over there? Okay, wait, where am I at? Oh, what the hell? Hey, mister. Hey, man. What the hell is he doing over there? What's that? You know, again, most of the things I do in my life just consist of me asking, what's this, what's that, what's that over there? Oh, wait, is this this place again? Wait, where am I at? No, this is a different little place. Huh. With a box, okay. It not really make a lot of sense. So, wait a minute. There's some random guy out there. Wait, did he kidnap Pammy? Okay, scary man. Alright, back here. Okay, back over here. What? There you are. Hey, scary guy. Listen, man. What is that, a knife? What, you got a stick? You got an axe in your hand, man. Oh, God, oh, Jesus. God, Jesus. That scared the shit out of me, man. Holy crap. Oh, my God, there's another one, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. Beat each other up. What are you doing? Beat each other up, you ding dong. What the heck? Oh. Well, let's go back this way. I should check Learn my to... journal. You should shut up, man. Voices in my head. I have enough of you anyway. I have enough problems with you anyway, man. Where am I at? Mayor's house. Going this way. All right, let's see if Gomez is home. There's a fire. Somebody's obviously been here. What? How am I supposed to get inside? What? What? Man, it better not be one of them scary men with hatchets. It's one of them jerkalos, man. Them guys just run around with hatchets and rap about that stupid soda pop stuff and they hit you in the face with an axe, apparently, because... 
That sucked. I was not, uh, not expecting that. I mean, I kind of was expecting that, by the way. He was walking out with an axe. And I said, hey. And then he hit me in the face with an axe. But other than that, I kind of wasn't expecting that. Really did surprise me quite a bit. And, uh, very upsetting, I might add. Okay, this is stupid, man. I guess let's run down to the other place. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, you're kind of burnt out, man. Oh, see? Now all these little fires are lit up. Wait a minute. So, is that... Well, look, I could be... You know, I'd be scared of these fires, too, considering they're pretty much small nuclear uh, explosions, I guess, with how bright they are. Look at that. Just... See, I'm going to be, I'm like, I grew a third testicle just now. And I can no longer have regular children that come out fish people. You see how that works? Yeah. That's not healthy, people. Uh, nuclear fire bombs. Oh, man, I can't even see right. Okay. So, yeah, I would also be scared of those kind of things. If I was these monster people. Hey. Can I get in there now? There's a light right here. You know, what is the point of telling me to go to places if I can't do nothing about it? Okay, here's a light. I can't do nothing with a light. Boxes, but I can't do nothing with boxes, man. Yeah, okay, we've already been through this. There's nothing here. Oh my god, do I go back to the trains? Here's some trains. Whoop diddly do. Yep. The HTG oil. We got that. That ain't gonna do me no good right now. Yeah, and then here's the boxes. Well, man, you know what? That is uh, dangerously close to them boxes. You guys should definitely have uh, put this somewhere different. Where am I going? In the mansion. Let's go to that mansion. Alright. I'm gonna run straight to the mansion. Wait a minute, what are there some of them monster people? I bet there will be. Let me... Jesus, I can't even go up. Okay, I get it. So what I'm supposed to do here, man, is... uh, Run between nuclear uh, explosion... And nuclear explosion? To keep myself safe? Right? See, watch. Nothing can get you if you're in the light. See? And then you run... How is there like a moon shining? If there ain't no moon in the sky. Huh. That don't make... Oh, God. No, 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 no. See? He should stay away from me now, right? Listen, jerkalo. No! What are you, a goddamn hyena? What the hell was that sound? the hell looking like some M. Night Shyamalan alien looking son of a bitch get away from me go away man I gotta go over the other place you know walk away man just walk away man let go okay look I'm backing up oh you can't see me through the nuclear fire smoke yeah see hey, that worked I can't believe that worked man it's actually kind of amazing. Okay, now if I run... That... What? Is there one by me? Oh shit, there's one right by me! What the hell? Yo, let's go, man! Running, running, running! Okay, that's just a lantern. Fuck that. I want to make sure I... Yeah, come on, man. Come on, man. I'll make, I'll make you walk on it, man. Walk on that fire. I think that's a Johnny Cash song. Something about walking on a ring of fire. Pretty sure that song was about his butthole after he ate some really bad spicy chili. Talk about ring of fire. You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure that was his butthole. And he was talking about that happening. That Because that happens. 
Hey, I can get in here. Please close the door. Please close the Thank you, baby Jesus. Am I in the mansion? Hey, I'm in the mansion. Wow, this is not really much of a mansion. Like a Maryland mansion. <laughs> Maybe, at best. Okay. You know, I almost think I could see better. If I turned off the nuclear powered sun. What the hell is that noise? Hello? Hello? Homeless people? Homeless people, do you live here? Well, I mean, I guess if you lived here, you wouldn't be homeless. You'd still technically have a home. It'd be a, a terrible one. But. At least it'd be kind of a roof over your head, I guess. Man, you know, I really should do my job here. Like, watch this. <clears throat> this is Cletus C. Dickerson with Scary Shit Finders. Here we are at the Maryland Mansion. And, uh, it's supposed to be the most hainted place in all of the land, of the area. And, uh... Ooh, was that a cold spot? Ooh, it, it was. And listen to our audio devices. Oh, did you hear that? They said something. Ooh, it's so scary. Okay. That was for the uh, networks. To let them know I'm doing my job. Or else they're going to fire me. Because Tracy keeps saying she's going to say she's going to fire me. I keep telling Tracy I'm going to quit, though. Oh. Hello? Okay, well that's locked. I keep telling Trace I'm gonna quit because I swear every time. Oh, some stairs. Cause they do this to me every time. And they send me out to these crazy places and I do not appreciate it at all. Okay, uh, here's a random suitcase. Probably full of pornography. Because that's, for some bizarre reason... True story, people. True story. Okay? One time, a buddy of mine were out driving on a back, back road. What the... What the hell was that? Was that you, Mr. Ghost? Now you're pretty quiet. Was the place getting shot up by a bunch of head, head like real head? What? I don't even. It scared me so bad I can't even talk right, man. What, wait, what is that? Oh, it's a lamp. <laughs> and a cowboy hat. All right, listen. Anyway, what is that? Diaper? No, oh, dirty diaper. Oh no, it's a skull. Right. What the? What the? That's just the pipes. Sometimes you get an old house and you start running the pipes. They make a knocking noise. Like the pipes are trying to get out of the house. This is boring, man. Ain't nothing up here. Y'all stupid. Alright, anyway, man, let me tell you my story about finding a big old deal of pornography. So once, a long time ago, me and a buddy of mine were driving on some back roads. We found this old house. Anyway, we said, we said for some weird reason, hey, let's go inside that house. It was abandoned. It looked like this. Well, not quite like this. This is pretty bad. But we decided we was going to go up in that house and uh, just ding-dong around. Keep my weird young, you know. So, what? This place is stupid, man. Anyway, so we did. And first thing, lo and behold, there was like a mattress. It looked uh, kind of like... Hmm. Maybe I can cut through these planks. An axe would be handy, if I could find one. What? What? Why? Of course an axe would be handy if you could find one. Literally in any situation here in this thing, an axe would be handy. Why would you need to chop through these planks, through this window, when we can literally walk right outside this door, right over to outside of this window? Well, I mean an axe, uh, an axe would be handy. If I could chop through these boards to get right here. 
Huh. Anyway, but, uh, when we went inside this house, there was a mattress and a giant stack of probably like, I don't know, like 30 or 40 porneo graphic magazines. Holy shit. You know what I mean? So I took them all. <laughs> I sure did. I literally was like, took two trips to load up on porno from a homeless man. Because why? I, I, how can I not? How could I not? Man, you snooze, you lose. Well, technically he didn't snooze. He wasn't there. So technically you um, booze, you lose. Because he's probably at the store getting some booze. But, you know, whatever. It's his fault for having porno magazines in an abandoned house out in the middle of the country where nobody goes. Find me on all of your favorite social sites and join my insanity. Whee! Look what I made!